means america means dollars green card yes citizenship that is h1b batch and uh, non immigrants come on various visas into usa and uh, apply for uh, uh, us citizenship after green card after 5 years after 5 years after receiving green card they apply for us uh, citizenship it's called naturalization and those who born here to non immigrants americans call them as anchor babies to illegal immigrants also kids they deliver here right that's one illegal is not a race it's a crime i wrote earlier a couple of posts on internet so coming to the point yesterday i made a video thank you for uh, watching and uh, all the comments and uh, like you know right uh, i don't do um, what you call fancy stuff and uh, other stuff for videos earlier i used to pay 50 bucks a month adobe software i think but i didn't use much of it for couple of years almost uh, it's like i spend lot of money for making videos time but later on i realize and then i'm just making with the phone and uh, this audio <coughs> sorry audio equipment and phone right i have two topics to cover one is uh, toilet cleaning services uh, outsourcing company another one american call other one is uh, my research on outsourcing come um, uh, sorry on placement uh, or consultancies and uh, from 1995 and uh, my bad memories these two i may try to cover it in this video yesterday i was quoting an example like uh, one guy from tcs his apartment uh, rental application got rejected because his salary is um, the rent of the apartment is uh, almost double than his uh, uh, double of his rent is equal to salary that's how they they rejected how, how do you survive and he was crying almost like uh, tears in his eyes and ravi asked me to take his video entry but he doesn't the person tcs man doesn't like to to be on the video <coughs> sorry it was jersey city location and client is port other of new york and new jersey that that is not the issue <laughs> what funny thing is his wife is scolding him the tcs person because the wife was drawing 2000 dollars a month salary in india this guy because tcs kicked him out of india to us whatever the reasons are he opted out h1b forced to resign and sit at home h4 right so that is where she started scolding him is what he told at work <laughs> our guys you know right ravi barani and me ravi was making fun of his story saying that uh, you put a burka or something and uh, act like a uh, him and uh, um, speak kumar uh, what is there but i didn't do that and uh, tragedy is his wife salary is 2000 dollars a month in india this guy salary is 3500 dollars a month in jersey city can you imagine you understand right the figures i'm telling about 2011 to 14 that is one another guy tcs manager came to my desk in telugu he told if if you i don't know what you call that uh, Uh, for example 7 feet iron rod will be there to dig the holes that we use it in, in telugu i will tell gunapam he came to <laughs> he saw my videos and he came to i met that desk in the same building he rushed me i don't know him he came from india telugu guy tcs manager he said general tcs manager is not good uh, except one or two people he said that iron rod if you hit on the heart and pull out from your uh, back like you uh, shit right so that where uh, it is like telugu i will tell gundallo gonapangucci guddalonchi laginanta pain undi sar annadu me truth video lo chuste that means i will repeat in english if you hit a 70 7 feet big iron rod at heart and try to pull it from your back how much pain you get it is like that sir your truth videos then i said okay thank you brother see I, 
after some time appreciation and uh, haters uh, comments also i have to treat equally right to go to next level and another case in the same building a tcs uh, person came and told i don't have work that means he doesn't have work in sap sap is down and uh, that took a client want to get rid of sap and tcs but the my manager his manager is scolding him to make it off for example he has his job shot he want to make it off and bring for the other off somebody from india so there is no work for me how can i make it off and bring give it to my manager something like that he told that is at the same client same building all this happened and another guy tcs manager uh, person told we have a standing instructions okay not to talk to other h1bs at the client location other h1bs is full time h1bs or outsourcing companies uh, sorry co- consultancies there are three types of brokers right or h1b petitions my ravi said don't call employer employer means who takes care of employee but these are all h1b petitioners yes a client outsourcing company body shops consultancies so these guys have a standing instructions not to talk anybody at the client location i don't know the reasons but they have and uh, when i ask the further in india uh, some people they say my performance is great that's why i came to america on said nahi chalta it doesn't ever work out like that one is casting couch and uh, always the employee uh, team member has to press the dash 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 i don't want to uh, speak those bad words of manager either male female male or female gender so you have to do that and managers are not uh, uh, very soft right very few people are genuine and they cannot send on site all 100000 employees in the uh, toilet cleaning services or whatever the outsourcing company name so they will take some parameters right skill set and all and uh, then they come to on site there is a parameter before coming to on site while filing h1b they all write a bond that is also illegal according to uscis rules but nobody will tell so they write a bond and once the project is over or if they want to go back they have to go back and report even if they want to resign they want to go back even if they want to go back they wa- they have to go back and report there as resign but what they do is they leave the client laptop at the desk as it is and they jump to us client or consultancies when this company asks them to get out so that's what they do so technically they have to go back to india and return the laptop there and resign even when i got job in infosys they told me not to resign at uh, in 2015 you have to come to bangalore to report and then come back to usa that is their policy even when i work for one client in uh, north kalina first broker is vipro they send laptop from uh, bangalore it took 4 months that's a different story i mean that's how they operate from everything from india right and but they write a bond uh, then paychecks nobody has showed even the colombo soya that um, as for ead lady used to cry for me who post my job her husband works in infosys she doesn't show any paycheck he jumped to us client so that's how these employees when they ask to go get out of is they pay salary also when no project but and they push you to another project location but no project go back to india but during that time they jump to us client or h1b consultancies till then they don't know what is h1b what is prevailing wage and when h1b wiki posted my guest post and uh, these outsourcing companies employees only i think <coughs> not all some many uh, friends or followers there in outsourcing companies also i'm not against anybody and um, then they told uh, kumar is wrong we work 16 hours a day Uh, without ot and all so that is what they don't know the rules of h1b it is 8 hours a work and uh, anything extra it uh, 40 hours a week like right? 160 hours a month 2080 hours in a year average anybody works it guys 
anything extra is will be paid time and day off prime vendor will pay time and day off means your hourly billing is 50 dollars an hour your extra 8 hours in a week for example you work 80 hours in a week instead of 40 the remaining 40 hours will be paid 75 dollars an hour and new york city it is 45 dollars an hour to h1b prevailing wage that's what my first broker in, um, in new jersey edition he break all those prevailing wages because he gets uh, 40 and he used to pay 25 to me then he broke the prevailing wage right that's how he did the illegal recoveries for the uh, rest of the lifetime uh, while well with them like it's a IC, branch of icsa bank in india so can you imagine what kind of um, indian companies are breaking uscc rules and as just now i read one uh, guy comments uh, fbi if you have proofs and it they don't see watch videos that is what is a, a level of knowledge uh, rk uh, rk pairs 1420 baga frustration a telugu guy looks like the road in telugu just carry on body the big line made my day videos do not help if you have any proofs directly post it to their office this is how it works nobody checks videos cries so that's what this is not about cries he doesn't understand then i said looks like you are crying and my videos kicked you in your butt rk so that is how uh, many people do not know many things man same time i'm not telling i know everything right whatever i know i'm telling and when coming to india one of my sister's husband took me to his relative's house it is not for me to go to ireland but he want me to check what is he doing is relative or cousin ireland it's pronounced as ire right I, not ireland ireland i think and uh, i was doing master of computers and applications at that time and i about weekend classes and uh, i was in the second year i think then when i went he asked my qualification he said no 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 you're doing mca please go to america don't come to ireland i didn't ask a visa or anything i want to go there and find out what is he doing those days i don't have phones phone with camera and all so i asked him what are you doing and uh, what visa are you sending i came to know from my uncle hundreds of uh, people were pushing to ireland it seems then he said he takes one to two lakhs indian rupees i am talking about um 2001 year 23 years ago so one at that time it, it is he is charging two thousand dollars to four thousand dollars cash indian rupees take a visit visit to ireland and push them then I, I, I asked them what do they do after landing i don't know what they do so they do all kinds of uh, work anything illegally that is how indians are uh, making money in india by cheating fellow indians by pushing them to other countries so during that time my another friend vijay uh, is a very good uh, friend of mine is still in touch and uh, he uh, my mca friend so he asked me to come to amir pet and uh, it's like a polythene bag right uh, it's like something like a polythene kind of a bag like walmart they give a bag right so in that five lakh indian rupees is vijay's friend carrying to one uh, consultancy in amir pet so vijay wants me to then call my by initial pk right pandrawada kumar or kumar in india they don't call kumar they go by initial right so they, they said pk come we'll go to amir pet and see and the consultancy where we went that consultancy um, sorry um the consultancy we went vijay and myself but by that time this friend already standing outside of the consultancy so i have asked only one question to that uh, guy consultancy what is the company name the guy in telugu in very harsh voice is telling it's my bava company it's like my brother-in-law's company sister's husband company and so what give the company name he doesn't want to give but the friend vijay's friend wants to give no 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 tell pk not to speak uh, i want to give the money people in those days have an impression if you give 5 lakh indian rupees 10 lakh indian rupees you will get it when be visa and your passport that is the 
impression but the guy who take money will tell so many lies right your hnb got de- rejected denied and nobody knows right those days internet also not available in hyderabad so i'm not sure whether available in 2001 so that kind of the situation in amir pet people collect money and when in my recent visit uh, 2014 i've seen um um police telangana police put the stickers there saying that don't give money for h1b visa like that warnings are there so that's how people uh, collect and uh, after that i came to know one more uh, my friend uh, joined uh, ibm mainframe course mainframe basically in amir pet the line is so long it was there from uh, almost one mile distance you have to stand with 30000 indian rupees i'm talking about 1999 or 95 that line is that long and uh, i called another friend or relative so for recommendation to pay the fees to directly go inside and i go inside the person name is uh, vemuri krishna the <laughs> krishna owner so then uh, is my father's um, office colleague son somebody somewhere it is connected So, but he is earning money in Hyderabad and he is financially rich, right? So, he doesn't, he doesn't recognize me also. Then his brother recognized me and his brother is trying to uh, come, ask me to come for uh, US interviews. But this Vemur Krishna rejected because I did BA and MCA, not BTEC. That is another problem with uh, Indians. So that's how and he said my brother is not listening uh, come on don't get hurt uh, please try don't lose the hope and uh, this uh, way more krishna when i saw people uh, he sent fake btec 10th failed graduates to us they returned to us i have seen with my eyes that's why i'm telling because they all put a tent opposite to recursion software and uh, they were sitting on the road they were shouting saying that please return our money they each one might be paid 10 to 20 lakhs indian rupees this is people return to india but how many of not return to india with fake btech entered us with uh, what you call um, they got a green card or us citizenship if you know such people you can report us cst this person doesn't know when i write when i tell truth fbi is watching my videos people don't truth uh, people take it love or lighter right i i did not tell this but i told uh, the situation has come because people are crying me your subscriber count stopped this that so uh, re- reality nobody l- believes it and they watch they are also human beings right they why don't they watch they watch several videos and um, that's how they will ask where is the source and all and that is about the recursion after that i came to know after that i came to know all these are consultancies like um, take a money take a body push to us i don't want like that and i did uh, er and dc trivandrum i didn't go it is a mainframe start they ask for btech mandatory but i went to penta for Beng- penta for madras and uh, Bangalore, there is one more Tata consultancy is there. Tata, it is a six months waiting for I am talking about the IBM mainframe course. Penta 4, they started in a large Aro motel. Each room, they showed the rooms also, each room with a computer, separate bed and all. But the receptionist talk, uh, lady talk very rude. Your BA, get out, something like that. So I came out. She think that only B-Tech should be there. Maybe the, her boss told like that. Penta 4. Then I came to Bangalore and I did networking courses, Novel and Microsoft. I am talking about 95 to 96 because there is no internet in Hyderabad at that time. So later what happened, I went to Sachem Computers, many companies. They rejected because your qualification is BA. HR doesn't understand how did you do, how did you do networking with a BA background. They don't know. Uh, up to 11th grade, 12th grade mathematics, right? So what is there in learning, understanding, networking is my my explanation to them or clarification. So then I came to know about ICICI Bank because they are also filing H1B. So now my uncle 
distant uncle traveled to US and he took my physical copy of resume and he gave it to your, his neighbor. That neighbor he gave it to his, her uh, boss. Her boss name is Krishna Nellutla. Then uh, in my entire journey of life, most of them who did crime and uh, uh, abused me, their names are Krishna, first name. So Krishna Nellutla called me for interview and asked me to Bombay or go to Bombay or Bangalore. I say it's a bank branch for interviews. When I look at the buildings of Bombay and Bangalore, I thought it's a big building. Oh, I have an in-house job of network engineer in similarly there. Sintel Chennai also attended for a network engineer interview uh, during mainframe time. I was not selected but they paid the 2000 rupees Indian railway ticket fare from Hyderabad to so big companies do, do good things though do a big crime so after that what happened um, um, sorry uh, then uh, after that I came to Hyderabad right then uh, I thought this is something like that a job in Edison New Jersey after I land here Krishna and Lutla told you don't have a project, you have to search. It is also a typical body shop consultancy. So that is what I realized in uh, 2008. It's a big shocking. Just a minute. It's a uh, big shocking. And uh, after that, what happened? 2008, they didn't pay salaries. And one of my friend, um, then uh, one guy, Shiva, he wo is, is working as a manager in SAP Technologies in California. He asked me to come to his house. She wants to place it through a backdoor entry. Then I said, what is, what if, and if I get fired and medical? He doesn't want to pay. If you get fired, get out. So that's how, and that Shiva doesn't work anywhere in India. He has no experience. He came to US on H1B. He met in uh, Mirpet. So that is one bad experience. And uh, later is, he has 500 H1Bs. In LinkedIn, I asked him, how did you start a company? How, how did you, um, when you don't have experience in India, how come suddenly you become a CEO with 500 H1B employees? He said, are you typing by drinking whiskey? <laughs> that is what consultancies or uh, people doing crime may abuse you. Just like this RK Pairs. He doesn't know RK again. Uh, Jeff from Walmart, um, sorry, sorry, uh, WSJ, um, Wall, Wall Street General, Journalist, Investigative Journalist, uh, uh, his name, his first name is Jeff. He contacted me when I place a video called uh, OPTAD or OPT issues. Then he contacted me and asked me, Kumar, how did you get the source? Then I told Ramya, one girl working there in the we port authority of the client, she, she gave the script. So another guy told uh, H1B body shops. Uh, CEO Chaudhary Kaskai in uh, Virginia sleep uh, ask girls to sleep with him um, if they cannot pay ten thousand dollars for the H1B fees. So then I introduced the Jeff to this journalist too. Uh, his name is Raj Shekhar. He doesn't want to move forward because he's scared. The moment I introduced the uh, Wall Street General uh, Investigative Journalist, right? So I am telling this because this R.K. Pierce guy, he thinks that uh, Americans doesn't watch, um, Americans do not watch, or government do not watch videos. Is his uh, assumption that is very wrong. They hire people to watch videos what Indians are doing. And uh, that's one. I just quote an example out of contest. And uh, the next one, um, uh, Sismoind. They took all my, they promised TCS and GE client and um, they took all my documents, SSN, uh, it's a scam basically they did, they, scry they loot all my documents, there is no project. Client interview also immediately called a video interview and arranged, I don't understand how come they uh, do all that, right, Sis mind and after that, um, Softbath, Detroit, Michigan, another friend introduced. This guy, uh, when we went to his uh, guest house, 25 members are there in the two-bedroom apartment drinking. It's a January, th December 31st night party, right? I went with a friend. But when I need a, when Krishna Kanchala J.P. Morgan is harassing me, when I thought of go for H1B transfer, when I, because my uncles are friends, friend. When I called, that guy said, 
first you get a bench pay of 2008 and your info info to hold by your three info tech you get those two things first whereas when i went to his company guest house lots of people are there in the guest house when you pay salary why do they need to stay in the guest house each body shop acts as if they are lord rama lord rama is like something like uh, allah in islam and uh, jesus in uh, christianity but when you really go to them they will show their true colors this is about outsourcing companies employees it should be standing instructions and my bad experiences with the consultancies in brief thank you we will come more about that um, jay abbala gubbala jay something uh, three of his victims has contacted me so i have proof but what we can do uh, he has not paid salaries he paid with the guy is working in google but he paid in california and he paid taxes in other state so many violations thank you friends